Robben Island is not just a political and historical monument, it's very much a big, vibrant, working island. It's a completely isolated island, which means everything that goes there and comes back has to be done by boat. They need to house over 100 staff permanently. There's a harbour, uh, there's a lighthouse. And so overall, the energy requirements of Robben Island are quite significant. We are disconnected from the mainland, and the big issue is energy, which has been done up to now completely uh, via diesel uh, generators. And so we've been a diesel you know, guzzler, which is not the right response you know, for a World Heritage facility. So as a World Heritage site, one of the things that we need to look at is be responsible in how they uh, respond to the environment. So the, the renewables program was welcome when the Department of Tourism uh, came to us and said, look, we want to pilot a project, roll it out and see the impact that it's going to make. So we're actually quite excited. Robben Island is a World Heritage Site and it's enormously environmentally sensitive. So everything that we did on this project came with three times more permits than we've ever done before. Robben Island identified a piece of land that had the least amount of political and environmental significance. And this piece of land was permitted in order to build a solar farm. The first thing you need to do when designing a system like Robben Island is understand the energy requirements. It's energy that is used for the desalination plants in particular and obviously to service the port and the thousands of tourists that come through every single day. So the Robben Island Solar Project comprises 1,960 monocrystalline solar panels mounted on a stainless steel fixed tilt mounting structure. The solar power is tapping onto the clean source of energy and using that. People who get that from Robben Island will see that we are moving with the technology. The solar farm produces around two and a half million kilowatt hours per year, which is enough to power the island's usage fully at least nine months of the year and make very good partial contribution during the winter months as well. It will be running power during the day. We've got a battery bank when the sun goes down and the generators will then kick in the purpose of the battery bank is to store excess energy that is produced during the day so that at night that energy can then be used to power things that are going at night like lights and heating and so on. The lithium-ion battery storage is revolutionary in many ways and it's particularly good in this case because you can charge the battery 100% and discharge 100% very much like your cell phone battery. The scale and the scope of it is that it is likely to uh, save uh, Robben Island upwards of 30% in its energy output, which is very good. The technology is there to actually fundamentally change the way energy works in our lives. The island is such a good example of that because it's completely powered now by an energy that lands every single day. 